Hey, what's going on, guys? That dude, Siraj. Peace. Mm -hmm. How you hanging? Um, I know it's been uh, over a year since my last range talk, unfortunately. Um, so I got my little guy out here with me. He's not really this tall. He's standing on a couple things, but he's awesome. Um, he's almost five and growing very fast. And he has a brother now since the last time we talked, huh? Yeah, you look five. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got a got a got a second little boy. Um, I might you know clip him in. He's not here at the range with me right now. Um, but uh, yeah, a lot of things, a lot of developments. Um, you know, I know you guys uh, let you know before that I was uh, coaching trap. Um, that's really developed a lot. Um, so we'll be going into our fourth season uh, in spring of 2017. Uh, we've actually filed uh, as a nonprofit. Uh, we actually have another archery program that we've um, started up. Uh, that's on its second season. Actually, right now, next weekend will be uh, uh, day two uh, for Storm and Arrows. Um, let me see. Uh, it's, it's been a lot, uh, you know, just on that end of the development spectrum, working with the youth. Um, you know, I'm really passionate about that. It takes me out of the normal uh, corporate rigmarole, being on the road and, and all of that stuff. Um, so I'm going to get into a little bit of that. Uh, I know, uh, if anything, I've gotten a lot of questions still about the, um, the over and under uh, Stoker Condor competition. I do have that out here. Uh, I'll talk to you guys about that for, for a few seconds. And um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so we'll just get into it. It's going to be an easy range talk. Um, I wasn't expecting, I didn't know whether or not I was going to shoot or not. You know, time is always running running low with everything that I do, um, but I need to get some practice in because uh, I haven't been able to shoot for a while and, uh, you know, got to gotta maintain my own skill levels. So I'm going to be coaching these young guys and uh, making sure that I'm at uh, the best tip-top shape as I can be, okay? So we're going to cut away and cut back and do what we normally do, and hopefully I'm not too rusty. Forgive me if I am, um, but yeah, you ready for this? Awesome. Fist bump. <laughs> all right so while i'm getting things together here um one thing i will say this is not the same stoker condor competition that i initially had um the other one in all honesty it worked flawlessly the only problem that i had with it was that um the barrels were not shooting where i wanted the barrels to shoot um uh, as i said the the top barrel was shooting a little bit higher than the bottom barrel. I didn't really, you know, that doesn't really bother me too much. Uh, the issue was um, there was a pretty big difference between between the the two. Um, I don't know why my choke isn't screwed all the way in. Apparently, I'm going to shoot full chokes today. Um, not really. Change those out. So, send it back. Uh, they couldn't really necessarily repair it, I guess, without pulling the barrels apart. Um, but even for them, it was out of spec. The top barrel was, but the top barrel was pretty much shooting dead center at about, you know, 60, 40, maybe 65, 35. Um, the bottom barrel was shooting roughly a foot low, maybe a little bit more than a foot low and about four inches to the right um so you know that that just wasn't that wasn't cutting it so they sent me a new one uh some subtle differences uh, in the grip there's some where the checkering is they have this diamond kind of pattern that they added to the checkering uh, didn't necessarily like it at first it's not too bad um you know the wood is a little bit darker. Yeah, I kind of fell in love with the other wood green pattern that I had. Um, but, you know, this one is still nice. It fits great. I did, after a lot of experimentation, figured out that I did need to add uh, just under an inch to my length of pole. So I went to Walmart and got those little, those little arts and craft balsa wood pieces and <clears throat> traced out pretty much the shape of my stock. Cut them out with the with the jigsaw and uh, took three of them. I think four would have put it right at a little bit over an inch. This measured out to about 13 sixteenths, and uh, it seems to really mount up right where I needed to each time. Because uh, I had an issue where my head would come more so 
forward further than I needed it to and it would change my uh, relationship with the beads on the barrel and you know you just don't want to have to constantly tell yourself pull your head back you know what I mean so once I made this change it just it just felt better um, I got long arms I needed a longer length of pull um, it just pretty much goes hand in hand so this one so far has not had me any uh, given me any issues uh, except for on the bottom barrel when I was testing that um, I was getting light strikes I noticed that if I did not make sure that I click the safety in you know relatively give it a good click um, that it it kind of you know caused that problem um, and again reset the safety to put the safety on take the safety back off um, it didn't do it anymore so I haven't had that issue since um, not that I use the bottom barrel that much because again and I think this is be, being as the second shotgun that's that's patterned the same way the top barrel shoots higher than the bottom barrel um, this one they're a lot closer uh, which is really nice but for the pattern that I've, I've been wanting to shoot uh, it's just it's made more sense for me to still shoot with the top barrel um, because with the follow-up shot being it's going to be a little bit flatter coming out the bottom barrel if I was to reverse it where I'm shooting 60 30 with the bottom barrel then my second shot with the top barrel would be even higher and you know being at the shooting doubles the clay is going to pretty much plateau or even start to drop I would be shooting over the top with the top barrel so um, I'm still the same same order of operations I'm still shooting top barrel first um, outside of that it's still a great shotgun. I mean, yes, it's, he it's heavy. It's still, still heavy. I love it. I like it. I actually went back and shot one of my, um, one of my old pump shotguns. I was a lot lighter and you know, it's, there's a significant amount of, uh, more abuse that, that I was feeling in my shoulder. So I like the heavyweight. It absorbs the, the recoil. Um, I can't complain about it. Sorry about the, uh, uh, the, the shade there, the lighting. I'm trying to stay in the sun for you guys. Um, so that's about it. So that's about it. Uh, we're going to take a couple uh, shots. I'm going to try to get about 50, 50, maybe 50 or 60. I don't know how many I got out here. I got like a, two boxes and some spares. Um, so it's going to do some shooting. Uh, not a whole lot. I'm losing sunlight. Uh, but it's a really nice day here at the end of October, and we're like 80 degree weather. So, um, you know, figured I'd spend a little bit of time with you guys. and. Uh, <sighs> have some outdoor enjoyment with the little guy. He's gonna be my puller for today, and uh, you know, let's uh, see what what happens out here. You ready, buddy? <laughs> uh, can they see? Oh, they can see your head. All right. Let's see. All right, you got your ears on, bud. Oh, here no. you go. Here you go. All right. And you know, while I'm while I'm here, um, I think this is going to be a little bit more reminiscent of my older videos, where I'm just I'm not cutting too much. Um, I need you guys' help if you are so willing to do so. Um, again, going back to uh, <clears throat> the corporation uh, that we form, small you know small nonprofit. Uh, we do have our 501c3 paperwork submitted, still waiting on the IRS to get back to that because uh, we're right at the deadline for uh, the grant from Friends of NRA. That's one grant I'm really leaning on this year. A lot of the folks that I've come in contact with on the ATA circuits have said, hey, you guys need to reach out to Friends of NRA. Um, they've you know, helped out a lot of the uh, other clubs up here. So uh, I got that application pretty much done. I uh, just got to get that submitted off and uh, they told me that once the approval from the IRS comes through then I'll be able to um, get that whole process 100% complete and hopefully we can have a little bit of uh, funding or, or um, materials or whatever they can help us with we'll appreciate it all the way around um, so from you guys uh, you know uh, me and the other other board members is only three of us uh, right now. You know, it's kind of leading the whole thing. Uh, I'm reaching out to other people that are volunteering and trying to go from there. But from a financial standpoint, um, you know, we have a little bit of overhead that we're trying to get uh, get some things moving. Uh, from this year, I still haven't actually done the awards program because we pretty much, um, you know, dried the well up uh, at the end of the shotgun season. Uh, so. 
on our new website, which I've been grueling trying to get that thing done, um, and I'll post the link up here. Um, if any of you guys, you know, could donate, you know, throw a little bit of money in the pot, um, you can send it straight through PayPal. Uh, once the 501c3 comes out, um, which I'm, I'm pretty sure, I think we got like another, at least on the timeline, about two or three weeks uh, for that. So it will be in before the end of the year. Um, you know, whatever you guys donate would be a charitable donation. So you can write it off your taxes. Everybody loves saving money on the taxes. Um, but, you know, anything, it, you know, it could be $5, it could be $10, could be $20, could be $200. Um, anything, you know, would help, uh, you know, and I'll probably put a, a, a public financial statement out, um, you know, if, if I can get you guys to kind of help and contribute. The main thing that I'm trying to do is, one, get the rest of the awards um, in for, um, get all the Winchester awards in, the NRA Winchester program that we do. Um, <clears throat> I want to just be able to, you know, have a nice get together, uh, you know, for the team, you know, some food and venues here are a little bit harder to come by. That's one reason I wanted to get the 501 because there's a lot of places that allow nonprofits to use facilities and, you know, like the, you know, Richmond public libraries and Rico County libraries, things like that, where now I can get a meeting room for, you know, uh, hundred bucks as opposed to you know paying who knows what per hour it gets kind of astronomical um so you know not trying to talk too much it's a range talk uh not really want to pitch too much but i figured you know hey social media you guys have you know been following me uh, hopefully i've benefited some of you guys um this is 100 percent strictly for the kids there's nobody on payroll um you know this is, this is if anything i mean yeah, i've definitely put couple thousand dollars out of my pocket over the last couple years to try to get these kids going um so just reaching out to the rest of the community seeing if you guys can help me out a little bit and uh you know kind of get things spurred in for for the next season uh so we have a little bit of money in the pot and um then hopefully if we can get friends at nra and some of the other uh gun stores and um places that have you know told me pretty much hey we'll help you when you get your your, your non-profit until then <laughs> sorry um hopefully i can go back to these folks now and say, hey, you know, we legitimize ourselves. We developed our program. Um, you can check the website out. That's always, uh, that's always in uh, uh, in development, and um, you know, hopefully, make something happen. So, that being said, and I think I'll probably throw a couple clips in there so you can kind of see what's going on here. Um, we're gonna do some shooting because that sun over there is dropping fast. You ready, bud? He's ready. Let's go. I don't have a full box on this first one, so I'll probably do like. Maybe three per stand. Okay. Thanks, man. I'm gonna just warm up on station three. All right, ready? Let me see one. Huh? Let me see one. Pull. Push that thing. You gotta keep your foot in there now. Remember? All right. Can't have no five-second delay. That's because when I pushed it, it couldn't go. You gotta hold it down till you see the clay. Okay? Okay. Hold. We're getting them. They're about twice as high as they should be.
good. That's a good warm up. I feel good about that. Yeah, got those last four or five or so. Um, we'll pause this and I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the trap real quick. So just take a breather. Don't get bit up by mosquitoes. And uh, yeah, see if we can get them right where we need them to be. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, there go my antenna. What? I was looking for this. This is from the walkie talkie that uh, you and Kanan was messing with out here. Somebody unscrewed it. <laughs> uh, that's a little expensive piece. All right. Oh man, I feel like I haven't done this in a long time, walking with the camera in my hand. Um, so yeah, like the vest, man, it's a, it's a Beretta. I don't think I can really see my back. Yeah, it's a Beretta vest. Uh, see, I got my Winchester NRA patch there and my uh, ATA shotgun coach patch there. So, all right, step back for a second, bud. Back here, I'm gonna give you this. So while I'm down here, I'm just gonna adjust this trap because I, I, I dropped it lower and then I went higher on it and um, it's really, it's way too high. So I'm gonna get a, the camera to the little man and um, I'm gonna show you this trap that I got that we've been using, which has been absolutely superb. And I got it. Mm -hmm. Make sure you can see me. Go all the way back up. There you go. Open your eyes, boy. You ain't looking at the viewfinder. Look at the screen. <laughs> you got me in the middle, right? Yes. Alright, no. yes. right, so stand over here so you can see the trap this way. But you gotta keep the camera up on me, son. Okay. Thank you. Alright. Okay, so this is my homemade trap house here. It was fairly inexpensive and uh, got the job done. Um, so this trap here, this is the Champion Six Packer. <laughs> so this is my uh, my little trap house that I built uh, for myself and the team. Uh, most like, you know, for the most part, they kind of inspired me to do a better focus, do a better uh, better trap house, and we had to get a better trap. We started with the Champion Wheelie Bird, uh, which I think I still technically need to review that, um, which did great, but you know it only holds. 50 clays and they hold them in you know one big long stack so what we did we went to the champion six packer hold it up make sure I'm in the middle we went to the champion six packer and uh, now we can hold uh, 125 clays that's my 10 foot stick so we can hold it to 125 clays so we can get a full round of trapping with five people. Normally I still just run it with four, just in case we get a broken clay or something like that, we can still get through the whole round. Um, and I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a great unit. Um, so come on in here. I want you to get close in and focus on the, on the trap here for me. So we're gonna see, okay, actually stand over to this side. Okay, that's a little bit. Let's see here. Oh, lost it again. Lost it again. All right, we're gonna lock it in about right there, I think. Okay, so this has served us well. It has the oscillating base built in. So you can see, runs off, you know, 12 volt source. And uh, nothing but positive things to say about this trap. Uh, not at all for the price point. No, it's, of course, it's not a pet trap or a mech trap or anything like that. But 
for a small little team that's trying to get some trigger time and not break the bank um, you know it works out well all right lock you down one more time okay all right what's up buddy Why do you have the camera on the side? All right, somebody apparently hit some tanner, right? Crazy neighbors. Paul. Okay. Transitioning from one eye to two eyes, and uh, sometimes it's great, other times it's you know a little liffy, but got it back in rhythm there. So, went into a regular round of trap. I got a battery down on this one, um, but uh, I'm gonna wrap it up there. It's getting a little bit late, so I'm gonna just go ahead and get back to shooting, get back to you guys, uh, hopefully shortly again. Um, again, you know, if you guys can support. Blue Eagle Shotgun team would greatly appreciate it. I would greatly appreciate it. The kids would greatly appreciate it. And, um, you know, hopefully I'm going to get back into this rotation. It's been over a year. Um, you know, I got to get back into it. Uh, I got a lot of things that I want to talk about and cover um, and kind of expand uh, the base that I'm trying to reach uh, through YouTube and through some of the other, other channels. So um, I'm on Twitter. Uh, with, the, uh, with the organization, uh, you can go at Tazar. Uh, at Tazar Group, um, that's T-A-A-S-A-R, I'll, I'll drop the link up. And um, other than that, man, same as always, thank you guys. Be safe, happy shooting. That do Siraj. Peace.